Hi everyone, I'm Trufman from Overclocking TV and we're right now with uh, Bob Enzi from New Zealand or Australia actually, it's uh, depending where you live. Um, hi Peter, how are you? Yeah, hi, very good Trufman, very good, thank you. Um, can you introduce yourself and uh, let, it, let us know a bit more about you? What do you do right now in New Zealand or Australia? Uh, well, these days I live in Australia and Adelaide. I'm a New Zealander by birth, but uh, I've lived in Australia and Malaysia. Um, in fact, I haven't lived in New Zealand now for about 15 years. <laughs> that's that's fun. Um, you're competing in uh, in MOA in Class A APAC, so that's the Asia Pacific uh, Division. Uh, you are actually first on uh, on this. So we are doing the this interview like one day before the end of the. Uh, of the qualifications, uh, that's almost sure that you're gonna get qualified. But why did you compete in class A this year in MOA? Uh, well, actually, looking at class B, I'm glad I didn't did compete in uh, class A just quietly. Class B looks very, very tough. Um, uh, for, for me, look, I I, uh, I wanted I actually com tried to compete in MOA last year, and I killed quite a bit of good hardware. Uh, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I would have got through last year, uh, all things going well. But I cried after I killed my last lightning and then, uh, and then gave up. But this year I've had a much better run. So, you know, I'd really like to take part if I can. Sweet. Uh, what do you think about the requirement needed for, uh, for Class A? The, 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 you need the D97, you need um, one CPU, you need the 290X. Actually, you, you need the 290X lighting to compete. So what do you think about yeah. this uh, outdoor thing? Oh, well, I mean, look, in the end, uh, you know, I guess MSI are kind enough to uh, put the competition on, so we should be prepared to uh, buy the hardware. Um, you know, so it's not a cheap hobby, hobby. it never has been. Um, but I've got to say, I've been very fortunate. My hardware's been going very strong, so, uh, and it's all still alive, which uh, is always a good sign with one day to go. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's, always, it's always fun to to keep uh, the hardware away from dying and keep pushing to the maximum at the same time. Uh, well, how did you prepare for this uh, for these competitions? How many liters of LN2 did you use, for example? Uh, I've used a lot of LN2, so my LN2 efficiency is not so good. So uh, not as much as Zolio or Martin, so I haven't hit 600 liters yet, but uh, I'd say I'm definitely 500, maybe 500 plus. So uh, I'm down to my last, I've got 70 litres for tomorrow and then I give up. Oh boy. Uh, well, uh, according to the scores uh, on Superbike 32 amps, so we are one day before. Uh, before talking about the scores, I should ask you, are you sandbagging? Of course. So, it wouldn't be, uh, I'm sandbagging, but at least I've submitted some scores, right? There's still yeah, quite a few people. Because yeah. at this time, like one day before the end, uh, you were the first in SuperPi 32M. You have only like less than three seconds difference with the with Iki, the second one. And yeah. Trimark Code 3, you were the first one also. Yeah. Um, and I think you were, you, were, you would be sandbagging even because you're actually fourth. Uh, like one day before the end of the, the, the qualifiers, you're fourth. So I do think that you're going to submit a strong score in UDJ11. Am I right? Yeah, I, so I've, I've definitely got a better score. I have to have to say, but uh, yeah, I mean, look, f first uh, with one day to go, it doesn't mean a lot. There's still quite a few people that haven't submitted at all. So uh, I'll say just out of principle, I've tried to put a score up a week, you know, without being, uh, without being too silly. Um, you know, and, and I guess we'll see tomorrow whether I've got uh, good enough scores to get through. I, I don't, I don't have, a, I don't, ha I've got a good CPU, but I don't have a great CPU. I've got a good graphics card, but it's not a great graphics card. But hopefully, uh, my efficiency is good enough to get me there. I see. Um, now what do you expect in terms of ranking? Like, uh, do you think you're gonna be qualified? It's almost sure, unless there is a lot of people sandbagging very high scores. Yeah, I, I look. I, I certainly hope I can qualify. I, I think uh, I think I should have enough to qualify. I'd be quite happy if I could. Uh, like I say, for me, I don't have a six point five or six point six CPU, which for uh, Super Pi and for O uh, three in particular are important. So you know, I, if I can get third, I'd be pretty happy with that. To be honest, because I know there's some much stronger CPUs out there. So, uh, but we'll see. So you, so you did talk with a lot of the other overclickers and some of them tell, tell, told you like, oh no, I'm just going to submit all my scores at the end or I'm not entering until the last few hours. 
Uh, it's funny, uh, like like Vivi said, like uh, with one week to go, everyone goes quiet. So uh, everyone's gone underground. Nobody's talking to anyone. So no, but but I mean, of course, the bot's a good source of information if you want to see what hardware people have, right? So mm -hmm. yeah, that's true. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, I think that's um, that's gonna be okay for this interview. Uh, thank you for your time. I do hope to see you in uh, in Taipei, Taiwan, in uh, mid October for the final. That would be a uh, nice things. Uh, well, uh, thanks for your time and um, keep pushing it. Yeah, I will. Thanks very much. Hopefully, we'll see you there. Sure.